What's up fight fans, welcome to my channel, this is Johnny, and today we're going to be going over the statistics that nobody talks about when mentioning this weekend's upcoming title fight between Teofimo Lopez and Steve Claggett. This is a prediction video. Alright guys, before we get into this, let's catch everyone up to date with the modern landscape of champions at 140 pounds. The last few weeks people have been moving, the last few days people have been asking for champion in recess titles, meaning Devin Haney recently requested from the WBC take time away from the sport, but not get stripped or vacated, but simply be reinstated as a champion in recess, and in doing so, up comes Alberto Puello as the fool. WBC champion. He will be taking on Sander Martin and Gary Antoine Russell requested to be next in line for that title fight simply because of how close his decision loss was to Pueo and he was granted that as well. So the four champions at 140 pounds, Teofimo Lopez, Isaac Pitbull Cruz, Liam Perro, and Alberto Pueo. This weekend we have the Canadian Steve Claggett challenging for Teofimo Lopez's belt. Could you imagine next week at this time if the champions I'm reading out and you hear Alberto Pueo, Liam Perel, Pitbull Cruz, and Steve Claggett? This is crazy. Anything can happen. So in this video, I'm going to break down Teofimo Lopez's path to the title, Steve Claggett's path to the title. We're going to break them down side by side, talk about who they've been fighting, how they've been going about their business. I'm going to tell you what Las Vegas has this fight at, and at the very end, I'm going to tell you my prediction. Let's get into this. Guys, we know Teofimo Lopez is 20 and one with 13 knockouts. He's currently ranked number four in the world at 140 pounds. The American is known as the takeover and the 26 year old is an orthodox fighter standing at five foot eight with a 68 and a half inch reach. He last fought Jermaine Ortiz, 17 and one, UD in the 12th. Josh Taylor, 19 and 0, UD in the 12th. Sandor Martin, 40 and two, split decision in the 10th. Pedro Campo, 34 and one, knockout in the seventh. With Teofimo Lopez, guys, we're getting a young fighter who's a champion. We're getting a guy when he's at his best, his skill set is through the roof. He has a fan-friendly style when he's at his best. But we've also seen him second-guess himself at times in the ring. We've seen him win some close decisions, and we've seen him be open about the sort of mental game that boxing at the highest level presents itself. So going into this fight, we haven't seen him since the Jermaine Ortiz fight. That was a very close fight. That could have went either way. Lopez is predicting an exciting finish of Claggett. He is a huge favorite coming in at eight to one and this coming weekend. We'll see if Lopez can make his predictions come true of making easy work of Claggett. Now let's take a closer look at the Canadian. Steve Claggett is 38 and seven with 26 knockouts. He's currently ranked number eight in the world at 140 pounds. The Canadian's 35 years old and he's a five foot eight orthodox fighter with a 70 inch reach. His fans call him the Dragon. This will be his first world title shot against Teofimo Lopez this weekend in Miami. He last fought Marcos Barraza, 23 and three, knocked him out in the second. Miguel Medueno, 30 and one, UD in the 10th. Carlos Sanchez, 24 and one, UD in the 10th. Alberto Machado, 23 and three, knockout in the third. When you're 35 in this division, hell, when you're 35 in any pro sport, you know that you're at the twilight of your career. Claggett knows that this is his opportunity to be on the world stage and become a world champion. The things he does have going in his favor, he has won his last nine fights. Seven of those nine fights have been by knockout. He also has the psychological component on his side, meaning maybe Teofimo Lopez didn't prepare as well for him. Maybe he's going to get a tail that isn't motivated, and this is what Claggett is banking on. When we look at these guys side by side, Teo's a younger guy by almost 10 years. We know boxing is a younger man's sport, so when you're looking at your money versus your wallet and your heart, you always kind of have to lean on the younger fighter. When you look at world title experience, obviously, that's Teofimo Lopez's side. Guys, Lopez is supposed to win this fight. Let's not get it twisted. Claggett is supposed to be in there just for Lopez to get some rounds, but don't tell Claggett that. Vegas knows this. This is an eight to one fight. 100 bucks on Claggett gets you 800 bucks. 100 bucks on Lopez barely gets you anything. So during my prediction, I always talk about what my father used to tell me, bet with your wallet, never with your heart. If you guys have big money, put it on Lopez, but don't expect to win much. If you're Canadian, if you're a fan of Claggett, if you like the way he goes about his business and you think that he's a live dog, throw your money on Claggett. Me personally, it's a no brainer. 
How can I bet against the takeover? Guys, let me know who you're going for this weekend in Miami. Teo or Claggett? Leave all that in the comment section below.